In this video, we are going to learn the difference between Shiroyo and Shiroheyo. Many beginner level Korean language learners are confused between Shiroyo and Shiroheyo. Both these phrases express the feeling that you don't like something, you dislike something. But they're used a little bit differently, like as far as the grammar is concerned. So let's see what the difference is. Shiroyo is an adjective which means to be disliked or to be undesirable while shiroheo is a verb which means to dislike something so when you use shiroyo the pattern would be like noun plus e or ga particles that is the subject particle and then shiroyo Technically, literally, it will mean, as for me, something, noun, is not good. But that's basically, I don't like noun. I don't like this thing. Let's see some examples. If you say, Iyoshi shiroyo. Iyoshi shiroyo. You are literally saying that, as for me, this dress is not good. But that means you don't like that dress. Here in this sentence, basically, chonun is hidden. So the complete sentence should be chonun yoshi shiroyo. Chonun yoshi shiroyo. So it means, as for me, as far as I am concerned, I don't like this dress. Okay? So let's say someone asks you, kopi chowaseyo. Do you like coffee? You can say, anio, kopi shiroyo. So here you have dropped the ga particle. In the spoken, it's okay to drop particles sometimes, but technically, grammatically, it should be anio chonen kopi ga shiroyo. Kopi ga shiroyo. Now let's see how to use shiroheyo. Because shiroheyo is a verb, we will use object particles, l or rl, with it, with a noun that comes before it, not iga. Okay, so. Let's see some examples. If you want to say that you don't like the address, you will have to say e o s -u, not o shi. Okay, when you use shiroyo, you will you say e o shi shiroyo. But when you want to use shiroheyo, you will say e o s -u, shiroheyo. So basically, it's chonun e o s -u, shiroheyo. They are both the same things, shiroyo and shiroheyo. There are just different ways to express the same thing. Now let's take that another example. Someone asks you, "Kopiril chowaseyo? Do you like coffee?" If you want to use shiroheyo, you can say "Anio, kopi shiroheyo." Here, if you see, the sentence is almost similar. There, you said "kopi shiroheyo." Here, you are saying "kopi shiroheyo," because in a spoken, we don't like we we drop the particles frequently so we drop iga when we use shiroyo and ilrul when we use shiroyo so the only word that remains is copy so it seems like same sentence same pattern copy shiroyo copy shiroheyo but technically it's not technically if you use shiroyo you should say copy ga shiroyo and if you want to say shiroheyo you should say copy ril shiroheyo so I hope you understand the difference, the grammatical difference between Shiroyo and Shiroheyo now, and you'll be able to use them correctly. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.